if you really want to progress forward you have to begin from the end and if you don't see the end you will not have clarity for your pathway how to live a life backwards and progress forward how to navigate first thessalonians chapter 3 verses 11 to 13 we will learn four fold focus to know how to live your life backwards when you are actually in a journey you need to have a focus but the question is do you have the right focus or not if you know the end would you make that as the ultimate focus first thessalonians chapter 3 verse 11 paul's prayer for a group of believers who are in Thessalonica who were faced with lot of difficulties now may our god and the father lord himself and our lord jesus christ direct our way to you the first focus we must have focus on god god must be the center of all your activities engagement pursuits you have to grow in your union with jesus and through jesus we can have a relationship with god that's what paul is praying when you make god as a focus you will listen to his voice because it is very critical that you hear his voice that is a discipline that you got to develop in your life how do you discern the voice of god first of all what is that you must know the source the second one is yield your ego let go third one seek the wisdom of the lord also seek the counsel of mature men and women of god and finally learn from each encounter today we will go to the second and third and fourth first is focus on god second is focus on community verse 12 if you focus on god you will definitely focus on others you know bible in the new testament at least 16 times very clearly it says love one another and it is a command it is not an option love is not just a feeling it's a decision you have to make unconditionally sacrificial in new testament 59 times there is very clear commandment love one another pray for one another carry your burdens for one another seek one another's interest the new covenant is about one another as you are connected with god you also connect with one another when you are focused on the community where god has kept you then only you will progress you will grow because it is in the community that you will learn your edges are smooth and the sharp tongue or sharp words sharp behaviors they are shaped second timothy chapter 2 verse 22 what is paul saying to timothy you got to be fleeing from the youthful passions simultaneously pursue righteousness faith love and peace but see the next thing which paul is saying along with others you're trying to do it alone you're fighting a losing battle what is the next verse saying verse 25 encourage one why what day is approaching coming of the lord jesus don't just cut off from community because enemy always want to bring divisions and disunity and factions in a community how disunity is disgraceful and harmful it divides the body of christ first of all it propagates a culture of mistrust and suspicion it brings competitiveness and strife and finally it compromises our mission and bring shame to the lord the third one focus on character first thessalonians 13 this is what paul is saying that he may establish your heart blameless in holiness before god and our father why because god's will for your life is your sanctification and holiness is very very vital for your end at the end the lord's question to you is not what you have done real question which god is going to ask is what have you become be holy as god said as i am holy god is interested in making a people who are holy holy means what distinct separate one of his own kind the final one the second part of verse 13 focus on christ because he is going to come back very soon every creation is actually going to come together in jesus christ and therefore we need to learn how to focus on the lord jesus christ in everything you must focus on the lord as we have our journey on the earth this is how you can actually live life backwards in the end god matters community matters character matters christ matters is that your focus today you never know when the destination is going to come or before that journey ends let us have the right focus